Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is a long awaited video that I've been dying to upload and now the time has come. That, um, Rossi's £35 pike that he caught the other month can finally be shown to the world. Um, the Pike Anglers Alliance for Scotland magazine came out, um, so hopefully all the guys in the club will have, have seen it first dibs and now it can be uploaded to YouTube. So, quick backstory on how Ross got to this 35 and I, I just think it's worth sharing because it's a big part of what we do and what we enjoy and part of the channel. So, starting right for the start, um, probably about two, three years ago now, I was never into pike fishing at all and my famous words to Ross were, I've got no interest in pike fishing, it'll not be me that's out there doing it. Um, big trout, getting into the salmon as well, that's how I, I spent my time fishing with Ross, so Ross managed to talk me into going to the Loop Tackle um, Predator Day at the Lake of Teeth, which is where we are just now. And for that day we had a shot of fly fishing for the pike and pardon the fun, but I was hooked. Um, so we started a quest for pike fishing for there and you know many hours, travelling miles, money, boats later, um, we're still fishing for pike, still enjoying more fishing. Um, and it's a big part of this story and it's a, this is why it makes this fish even more special. I would say we well, are avid fishermen and pike and well, we're always happy to catch a fish regardless of size but I think out there everybody's always hoping for that, that big life changing fish. And last year, or sorry not last year, the start of this year it came for me, again on the Lake of Monteith. Um, I managed to pull in a, a £28 pike uh, with Ross, again a special moment. Uh, shared with a lot of guys in the club and it was it was just a great feeling to you know burst that PB right out of the water and then in the same year, a year 2020, that's been a terrible year for the company, a terrible year for most people has turned out to be a great year for us um, so it's just uh, it's crazy to be standing here talking about it so you'll see the video in a minute and Ross will give you his own version of, a, of a events at the end of the video but you know, I, I just wanted to mention this at the start and it's, it was a great day for us and you know, to be able to experience it was absolutely brilliant. So, I'll pass you on to the video now. I hope you all enjoy it. Please like and subscribe and let us know your thoughts on it. Thank you. Thirty's coming mate, thirty's coming. Come here Bobber. Come on, boy. It's will be £3. Again. Yeah, it's on it, mate. Yeah. yeah. Do your thing.
Yes. That's our tank. Yes. It's a 30. That's our bike back. Oh. Oh. What's that? <laughs> I could put a saddle on it. Oh, good son. I think he's beat me, like. Aye. Easy. Oh, it's a 30 then. Yeah, what a jinx that, but looks like it. Get your rod out of the road. <laughs> oh, take your time, take your time. Don't stand up. Easy. Right, you are. Jesus Christ. Calm down, calm down. Isn't it? Swing. I'll let a big man tell you. Right, oh, get up. I don't know if I can lift. Oh my god. Get your hand in, try and get its tail. Stand up, get it that way. Aye, look at that. Good photos, aye. Aye, one second, then it. Aye. That's it. Oh, it's fucking. Do you want to know what it is? Aye. Not telling you. <laughs> oh my god. Right, so as you can see from that clip there, that's me got my new personal best now. Um, Thirty-five pound on the nose, over the moon. Um, it was one of those days where, to be honest, with you, I didn't think it was going to happen. Um, we have spread for so long that we're going to chase the big fish. We're going to get a big fish one day. It's going to happen. Spent so many hours, uh, all the time and effort, and finally been rewarded for it. It was one of those days where, kind of tough going to start where we thought, but then things picked up pretty quickly. Um, when we left the boatyard in the morning, I said to Cole about putting the fish finder on. He suggested we leave it, we didn't bother with that. So we headed back out, straight out towards the island and anchored up in a completely random spot. We didn't know what depth it was, we just decided that's where we were going to go. Chucked the dead baits out. Um, after maybe an hour or so, I think, for the first couple of runs. Um, didn't manage to get them, then we got a decent run, which took some line straight away. Um, so at that point, line started screaming, um, struck into fish, and stupidly probably said straight away, that's a big fish. Um, looked at Cole, kind of just said, stay calm, to which I tried to do. Um, didn't see this fish at all, played it for quite a bit, and got it closer to the boat, still couldn't see it, I took a dive, um, got wrapped around the anchor rope, tried to recover that and 
ended up breaking off. So at that point, I was absolutely gutted. Um, Cole's exact words at that point was, don't worry, there'll be a 30 along any minute now, which ended up happening. So the next maybe hour or so went past and the float started moving again. So I said to Cole, that float's moving, have a look at that. I watched it, went under, moved to the side, struck into it and it took off. This time again, I said, this is a big fish. Which it was. <laughs> um, and then we tried to calm down a wee bit, played this fish. It got in too close to the side of the boat, didn't see it straight away. Took another dive down, back up again, seen the back of it. Um, at that point I kind of started panicking and being excited. And Cole again, to help me to calm down. So tried to calm down with that one and play the fish. Got it into the side of the boat, um, realised that it was a big fish. Cole managed to net it for me. Um, at that point I said, right, bring it into the boat, which I had a bit of difficulty with. So <laughs> we then um, managed to get it in the boat. So we weighed the fish. Um, Cole had the scales facing towards him. I couldn't see what weight it was. I asked him what weight it was and he said, I'm not telling you. So <laughs> at that point, I kind of I thought it was a big fish. Um, all he said was, we've done it. Um, I didn't know what size it was or anything like that. So we got it back in, um, safely down on the mat again. Held it for a couple of pictures. I didn't actually know what to do with it because it was kind of that big. I didn't have a clue what to do. Um, so got it up for a couple of pictures um, and yeah, it was, was just over the moon that I knew it was a big fish, I didn't know what size. So we then got it back in the water, it recovered really quickly, kicked away, swam away quite the thing. Um, so at that point I turned around to Cole and he said that it was 35 on the bottom. Um, both us over the moon, um, didn't ever think that that would happen, but I did. Um, and still to this day, over the moon. So, a couple of things made it more special, the fact I got to share it with my best pal and the fact that it was on camera, uh, that, you know, lucky with both of them, so that made it a lot better. And, yeah, so we then kind of had to come back down off cloud nine and reset the rods again. So that fish was caught on a gada bait sardine. It was dead baits we were using all day and um, with the float indicators, so we knew straight away that the fish was there. So yeah, that kind of sums up the, the day for us there. A um, couple of thanks, first of all, to Cole for, for being there and for netting the fish, all the help he's gave me. It's been a team effort as such all the way through to get to this point. Um, secondly, thanks to the, the past Pig Angers Alliance for Scotland that was for their event, Privileged Access event, so if anyone's interested in joining the past, then this shows you what can happen. So the link for the Pass Club will be in the description below if anybody's interested in joining. Um, it's well worth the money and I'd recommend doing that. And yeah, that's that's what can happen to you. So thanks very much for watching guys. Um, really appreciate everybody's support, all the comments, the phone calls, everything that we've had. Um, it's been greatly appreciated. If you have liked the video, please leave us a thumbs up. Um, leave any comments you have in the comment section below. We read every one of them and we'll reply to them as well. And obviously if you guys could subscribe to the channel, that means a lot. Um, I know it's one of those things that everybody asks you to do, but if, if you could subscribe, that would be brilliant. Um, we really do appreciate it. So thanks very much again, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.